good chance of getting the money for the, for the jetties. So that's almost in the kitty. We're not going to build the, the, the MPC in Tully because it's ridiculous. It's education in Queensland. Um, the bikeways and everything else that people seem to think is a priority is already government and um, development's contributions held by both councils. There's also stuff that's been budgeted to be done in Mission Beach for as long as I've been here, which is a hell of a long time and nothing ever gets done, even, you know, for example, the, um, the toilet block and stuff that we've been trying to get at Rotary Park. So, you know, there's all this money already in the coffers. We've just about got the jetty done. The bikeways, there's money in the bank. We're not going to do, well, we shouldn't do, the thing in, in Tully um, on Education Queensland land. So there's plenty of money there. You blokes will have a ball when you get in. On that multi function centre, Jeff, there is, um, I, I understand, something like $200,000 already spent on that. Uh, it would be, I, I, instead of canning it day one, which is absolutely what I elected, won't be doing, day one will be down to, to Brisbane telling them what a, what a disaster they've actually created with their accountants who, who forgot that the, uh, this cyclone only money is not recurrent. And pointing out that if they want this facility on their land, they've, they've got to come up with a lot more. It should not. The lead on this should not be the ratepayers, with all the on costs, all the hassles of doing it, and all the um, uh, the, the plaque when it goes over. And I'm, I'm absolutely, I'm uh, absolutely amazed that, uh, that one of my one of my opponents in this election has said that um, he doesn't want to take control of this enormous expenditure because he didn't want to be bossy. Good to say that he hasn't just got a right to be bossy, he's got an obligation to, uh, to, to wonder how the money's been spent and to control it. So, uh, um, I, would, I would like to think that the school kids in Tully do get something better than what I regard as a East Timor style facility. And, uh, but I don't honestly do not believe it ought to be on the ratepayers such as it is planned for the present. Why can't they do up the existing hall in the high school? Yeah. Well, I think I mean, they, I they're actually, it's, it's more than a hall, it's a basketball court <coughs> and a stage and, and all sorts of things. Um, I would like to see them build the, the, this magnificent centre they're talking to, but let, let them find the money. I think, <coughs> like what um, one of my opponents had in his, on his platform four years ago, that the local government give half a million dollars to the school, a gift, which is extremely generous, over to them to do it. And for that half billion dollars, the uh, citizens can use it. They may be able to use that facility some of the time if it's not being used by the school. A very generous offer um, for a, a potential return. But see, we don't even know what's in the manager agreement. That's secret. It took us two years to find out who's on the committee driving this thing. It's, I will be elected to stand for a lot more open government than we've, than we've seen from uh, from Cardinalshire. Yeah, I think we should meet you do with a decent wall. What do you think of having any weddings go on in the beach? Yeah. Yes. I've had, that, I've had that put to me before that I want to, I want to um, uh, increase the rates in Tully and give a break to the people of the beach, and I want to take the hall away from Tully and build it on the beach. That is, neither of those things are my policy. Absolutely not. There is, there is no percentage in me standing as a mayor for a whole shire setting out to favour one region over another or penalise one region over another. That is absolutely not part of my policy. And if you hear that said, and one of my opponents likes to say it, it is absolutely not true. Yeah. Nice um, question. Um, Jeff, um, I you talked about um, grants and growth being the two um, opportunities that you'd see. With um, the growth, and you mentioned tourism, could you identify two major areas of growth that you would think are the most important ways of growing tourism in the area? I think you should start with what's already there now. As far as Mission Beach itself is concerned, the figures, the Cummings report talks about the, the fly drive market. We're not, we're not getting that as much, our fair share of that compared to the fly drivers that go to the Daintree or go to, to, um, to the uh, Tablelands. The Cairns Highlands. Exactly, the Cairns Highlands is they've now renamed. Um, and uh, secondly, the area that we actually specialise in, it, it for the current mines and the Cowleys and the Tully Heads and the Cold Heads and the, um, um, those sorts of places in both, in both existing shires, 
which is the, the caravan market, the local market, the Australian market. Um, they, they are those two areas. I don't see uh, Tony Lee's massive uh, facility in Boat Bay being in these super yachts as being, um, as being, as being the answer. Uh, that, uh, that, that, isn't, that isn't what it is. It's just the two things that are the main, the main components now.